In this tutorial, we will be demonstrating how easy it is to auto log off disconnected sessions within your virtual desktop environment using the VDI toolkit. We will also look at some of the alternatives and their associated pitfalls. Lastly, we will demonstrate how the VDI toolkit overcomes those pitfalls. Why should we log off disconnected sessions as soon as possible? First, it can have an impact on scalability within our environment. When virtual desktops are in a disconnected state and others are logging in, they get a new virtual desktop as the virtual desktop in a disconnected state is not available for reuse yet until it has been logged out. This requires your virtual desktop pool to contain more virtual desktops than might be needed for your environment, which requires more infrastructure resources. It also increases security within non-persistent settings. Let's say a user downloads a Trojan and is on a non-persistent virtual desktop set to refresh after log off. The quicker we log that virtual desktop off, the faster the threat will be eliminated. Although VMware already has a solution as shown to automatically log off after disconnect, it is unfortunately limited. The problem is it has to be set globally at the virtual desktop pool level. This is very narrow in scope. It means that if you have a large virtual desktop environment where 99.9% .9 of your users only need 30 minutes, yet a few only need four hours, you must set it to the highest value being four hours. This could significantly impact the reuse of virtual desktops within your environment. It will require your virtual desktop pool to have more virtual desktops to act as a buffer requiring more physical resources for your environment. You should strive to log off virtual desktops as soon as possible. This ensures the virtual desktop pool requires as few virtual desktops as needed, reducing the demand for physical resources. Let's talk about why using the VDI toolkit is superior. First, it uses a robust rules engine that allows different disconnected timers based off of any virtual desktop session variable. This rules engine allows you to create a default disconnected timer and then create specialized timers for unique scenarios like user, virtual desktop host name, and client, just to name a few. Furthermore, it doesn't require setting globally at the virtual desktop pool level. Up next, we will demonstrate managing automatic log off of disconnected sessions using the VDI toolkit. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So first things first, we'll want to go ahead and create a rule for our disconnected monitor. So we can go ahead and open up the VDI Toolkit Management Console to do that. I have a virtual desktop here that we can run that from. So we'll go ahead and double click on that. And once open, we'll go ahead and expand. So um, to go ahead and create a rule, what we'll want to do is we'll want to navigate to Rules, Session Rules, and Disconnected Monitor. And as we can see, we don't have any rules currently, so we'll go ahead and create a default rule to test with. So let's go ahead and do that by giving it a name and description. We're going to go ahead and check global rule that way it applies to all sessions and we'll hit add once we hit add it'll open up the edit screen uh, for the rule and from here we can go ahead and give it a configuration so we'll go ahead and go to configuration and just to keep it simple for this we'll go ahead and set it to one minute and we'll go ahead and update and afterwards we can search and see that our rule has been created so now we've created our rule, we're going to want to test it by actually logging into a virtual desktop and it will apply because it's a global rule. So we'll go ahead and minimize this and we are going to go ahead and log into a virtual desktop.
Okay, now we're logged into our virtual desktop. We can actually take and see if the rule applied. We can do that by going to the client. So we can left click on the SysTray icon for the client. And from here we can click on rules and we can actually then expand session monitoring and disconnected monitor rules. And we'll see our rule that we created here. If we highlight our mouse over, it'll give the details of that rule. And we can also expand that and we'll see what our timer is set to, which is one minute. So what this will do is actually log off the virtual desktop session if it's been in a disconnected state for one minute. So what we want to do is go ahead and test that. And how we can test that is we can go ahead and disconnect from this virtual desktop. So we'll go ahead and disconnect from it. And do that right here. So now we've disconnected from the session and we can go ahead and monitor it here. And as you can see, it's in a disconnected state. So we'll wait a minute and then we'll check and it should be in an available state. And I will go ahead and fast forward it. And as you can see, we've refreshed and it has gone to an available state. So it's no longer in a disconnected state. So it automatically logged off after being in a disconnected state for one minute. Okay, next what we'll do is, uh, what we may want to do is go ahead and create a rule to override this rule. So this is the default and it's going to apply to all sessions. But let's say we have a user that we, we want it to be longer. So what we can do is we can go ahead and create another rule by giving it a name and a description. Now this time we will not check global rule because we do not want it to apply to all sessions. We only want it to apply, let's say in this scenario for a specific user. So we won't check global rule. We'll go ahead and hit add. Once we hit add, the edit window will open and we'll notice now since it's not a global rule, we have a chance to create qualifiers for it. Uh, for more details on rule qualifiers and how they work, please watch the video tutorial on rules. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, set up a any qualifier and we will choose a user and we'll go ahead and choose our user that we are logging in with, which is this VDI toolkit user. So we've added that user and now we will actually go to configuration and we will go ahead and let's just set it to five minutes. Uh, one other thing too that we need to do is is so that this rule overrides the other rule uh, We need to give it a higher weight. So our default rule had a weight of zero So we will go ahead and assign a weight of one which is higher for this rule That way it will take precedence over the default rule. So now we've had we have our rule uh, configured we'll go ahead and hit update and we can do a search and as we can see we have our specialized rule right here okay so now we'll want to go ahead and test that rule and we can do that by actually um minimizing this and logging back into the virtual desktop session oh we can go ahead and minimize this and we can actually log into uh, um, another virtual desktop all right All right, now we're logged into the virtual desktop. We can go ahead and uh, verify that the correct rule was applied. So what we can do is we can go back to our client in the sys tray. We can left click on that, go to rules, and then we can expand session monitoring. And we'll see we have two disconnected monitor rules. So we'll go ahead and expand that. And we can see that we have our default rule and our specialized. And if we expand the default, we'll notice here that it has a little red X, which means it was not applied. And if we highlight over, we can see the reason it wasn't, as there was another disconnected monitor rule that has a higher priority. 
and we can go and expand our new specialized one we can see it's five minutes so now it is configured that if this session were to be disconnected after five minutes of being in a disconnected state it would auto log off the session i hope this tutorial has been useful for you and thank you